Time now for our Spotlight Program, and as we do every single Monday, we visit with the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Director Nancy Morrissey joins us this morning. Good morning, Nancy. How are you? Good morning, Steve. Have a nice weekend? We did. Yeah. We did. We had a very nice weekend, of course, with it being Father's Day and uh, six kids that we have. It was, uh, yes, it was very, very nice. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the weather wasn't uh, very chamber-like on uh, oh, Saturday gosh. for the uh, All Things Italian, but I'm sure they did a, had a wonderful time anyway. It rained hard, though, yeah. and I mean, there were booths that you know, were just blown over with the wind and stuff. It's, this is the second year in a row, and, and uh, God's going to smile on them next year because it's third year's the charm type thing, so I just felt you could just see it starting to roll in. In fact, our oldest daughter... Kelly and a group of Girl Scouts were up there right next to the Ragbri booth, and uh, mm, they said the Ragbri booth really took a bad hit. So, Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. the tent, I think, is no longer. <laughs> well, that's, that's disappointing. Yes, that's it disappointing. is. Speaking yeah. of Ragbri, I know that uh, they have an event t- this evening. Of course, the Ragbri committee meets uh, at least once or twice every week, and, and uh, tonight is an opportunity for the community to come and uh, have some questions answered if they have questions. Yep, the... Um, Feature Rag Bride director is going to be there, um, T.J. Jeskowitz. Jeskowitz. This is an excellent opportunity for vendors, churches, merchants, and anyone interested in how this will affect Fairfield. Included in the discussion will be the use of the Rag Bride trademark, guidelines for vendors, and tips on how to make this event work with your business. Remember, that's tonight, 6 o'clock, at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, and it's open to anyone that's interested in hosting a home, vending a, 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 a booth, volunteering that day, helping with setup. All, there's, it's going to take a small town in itself to put this on, so please, um, Come to the meeting tonight, and if you're not able to and you still would like to volunteer, uh, there is a website, fairfieldragbride.com, and from that website is a link to volunteers at ragbride.com or vendors at ragbride.com. There's all kind of links, and you just email and let them know. If you want to volunteer and you don't know what the heck you can do, they'll, they can, they know what you can do. So uh, please volunteer your time. Um, Today, tomorrow, in six weeks when the day starts. But tonight's meeting is 6 o'clock, Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, uh, to answer any and all rag bride questions. From the chamber standpoint, I know that uh, vendors, um, actually merchants in downtown Fairfield, and around the city as well, will, it's going to be just a huge day and a huge opportunity. And TJ will offer up uh, suggestions on how you can uh, maximize your profits and your uh, efforts that day. So if, you, if you're a merchant and you're wondering how how to uh, attack a rag bride, <laughs> this would be your chance to do it. Perfect chance. Yeah, perfect perfect chance. chance. All right. Uh, everything we talk about on Chamber Talk every Monday morning is available in the Monday morning newsletter called the newsletter. It's called The Week That Will Be. It comes to your email each Monday. And let's jump right into it. What's on the list today? Well, member to member program highlight of the week is Yummy's Gourmet Cakes. And uh, that is owned by Jill Dahlstrom and located at 1909 West Burlington Avenue. With every lunch order, you will receive one free cookie with your Chamber member to member card now as everyone knows that has eaten out there with every lunch you get a small little piece of yummy yummy cake and uh now with your member to member card you also get a cookie and uh that's a good thing to just take with you and and munch on in the for a mid-afternoon snack i was gonna say i do that every time i eat there (laughs) i eat and then when i get done i go over and get a a cookie or two to take yeah it's not yeah. just a cookie. You get a big cookie. It is a yeah, nice, nice cookie, cookie, and you have a choice. She makes lots of different cookies, just like she makes lots of different cakes. So uh, she also makes sandwiches, of course, and soup and wraps, wraps and salads and, and lunch orders. She will even um, cater, if you would like. Yeah. Two years ago, we had her cater our annual ban- banquet and did a fantastic job. Um, we try to, when we have our, our, our monthly board meetings, go to different businesses, uh, restaurants around town that has kind of a, a private location um, for us to have. And it's kind of hard because there's some restaurants that just don't have a separate room. So with her being a 
caterer will go to some place that does have a separate room and she will cater for for, for us. So um, she has lunch specials Monday through Friday. You can get on an email list too and she uh, will email you the list for the, the whole week. And on Fridays and Saturdays, Yummies also has cinnamon rolls and caramel pecan rolls. Those are my favorite. Mm. I haven't had breakfast yet this morning, and You're this is really me making me hungry. <laughs> I, I think I have a, I think I have something in the freezer. And I have to get <laughs> the member to member discount highlight this week, <clears throat> and uh, I, I think we've been uh, negligent in explaining the member to member discount in general over the last few weeks. So uh, it's not just yummies this week that you save on. Right. It's right. we highlight one of the businesses every week, and we rotate it. Uh, Round, but we have multiple businesses that participate and and we add to it um, every month a new business joins and they might join the member to member card too if you would like to see a whole list of the different businesses that participate in the member to member discount program go to Fairfield Iowa dot com and Fairfield Iowa is one word and Iowa is spelled out and then along the Tabs about an inch from the top, the very last tab on the right is the member to member one. And there's an application if you're a chamber member and you, you thought, I can't participate in this. I didn't know I could. There's an application right there. Uh, it goes straight to Lori Knox at the chamber. And then there's also a directory, a list of all the different uh, businesses that belong to the member to member um, so this week's highlight, but she does this every single week, is, like I said, Yummy's Gourmet Cakes. Uh, and her tagline is, the best cake you'll ever eat. And that is for sure. And her lunches are pretty darn good, too. Um, let's see. They are definitely yummy. So use your chamber member-to-member -member card to receive a free cookie with your lunch order and if you'd like to order in advance she will have it ready and waiting for you to pick up and go and her phone number is 472-7910 it's chamber talk here on a monday morning while we're in the <clears throat> in the uh, mindset of discounts i want to first i want to uh, also uh, remind folks that the rag bride t-shirts we mentioned rag bride a few moments ago the chamber is a great spot to stop and get your rag bride t-shirt you might be asking yourself why would i want to buy a rag bride t-shirt well once for community pride and second of all Great discounts starting actually in a couple of weeks, the five Fridays in, fr in uh, July. And that list of uh, Rag Bride discounts will be available very soon. In fact, I think I have a list of those in the car. But, um, th Nancy, this is a great walking billboard and walking coupon for additional discounts. It is, and the list grows of the participating businesses from week to week. I saw the, a list, too, and I was amazed at all the, the different ones. Of course, hy V is the uh, one where you, if you use that every single week, you'll actually get more than what you paid for the the T-shirt. And like Steve said, it's the first uh, five, it's the five fr Fridays before Rag Bright and counting Rag Bright Day. So it starts the last Friday in June, and that is June. 28th and then every single Friday after that up to Rag Bride Day. I want to say that list uh, there is uh, <coughs> at least 20 uh, vendors. Oh yeah, At least 20 or more vendors yep. on that list right now and it's growing every day. So don't forget about stopping by the Fairfield Area Gym and promise to pick up your Rag Bride t-shirt. You can also uh, pick them up at the Hy-Vee at the customer service counter at Hy-Vee or go to Rag Bride, fairfieldragbride.com Alright, the week that will be, let's jump right into your calendar. What's on this week's calendar? Okay, tomorrow, no, yes tomorrow Tuesday, the Mississippi Valley Regional Blood Center is having a blood drive from noon to 5 p.m. at Cambridge Investment Research, Inc. Uh, Wednesday is Farmer's Market from 3 to 6 p.m. at Howard Park. Uh, Wednesday, the Mississippi Valley Regional Blood Center is having a blood drive from 3 to 7 at the Jefferson County Fairgrounds Activity Center. Wednesday is open midnight at 8 o'clock at Cafe Paradiso. Thursday, oh my gosh, Fairfield has so a, a wealth, a plethora of events. Um, we are so fortunate. And Thursday through Sunday of this week is the inauguration event of Fairfest 2013. With a New Orleans flavor, the multi-day, multi-genre event will feature national, regional, and local entertainment, innovative speakers, 
artisan food, specialty vendors, cultural events, art and film in multiple vet venues with a focus on sustainability solutions, um, community empowerment, economic equality, and more. Utilizing the entire Fairfield Arts and Convention Center with indoor and outdoor stages. It's four days of music, food, and sustainable fun. That's this week, this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They even have their own um, website also. So if you're interested uh, in knowing more information, go to, is it fairfest.com? Fairfestiowa.com. Okay, fairfestiowa.com. And it'll it'll tell you who the speakers are and, and everything that's going on for these four, four days. Also on Thursday is the uh, Chamber Business After Hours, hosted by Premier Pack and Ship Plus, Heartland, Rod, and Custom, Inc. for all Chamber members, spouses, and guests. Andy Nelson, owner, will host the event from 5 to 8 p.m. at 502 West Burlington Avenue as they kick off summer in a big way with lots of fun. When you think of summer, you immediately think of summer cookout with all the fixings, car shows, root beer floats, kids events, and outdoor music e- events. Premier Pack and Ship Plus Heartland Rod and Custom has taken care of all that with their plans for the Cruise in the Avenue themed June installment of the Chamber's Business After Hours. There will be hot dogs, brats, hamburgers, beverages, root beer floats, a coloring contest for kids, a hula hoop contest, and Mitch Gowdy in concert from 6 to 7 p.m. He's also going to be raffling off a grill. So uh, plan to get there and submit your name for your chance to win a a, a grill. There will be a hot rod t-shirt sale with proceeds going to Camp Courageous. For everyone's convenience, there will be additional parking across the street in the vacant lot next to Family Dollar. You know where Hy-Vee used to have their garden center. Uh, there will be lots happening at the June installment of the Chambers Business After Hours hosted by Premier Pack and Ship Plus, Heartland Rod and Custom, Inc. What better way to jumpstart your summer activities? That's Thursday night. Five to eight. Thursday and Friday is the Ladies Blast Off, presented by Jackson Medical Supply. And this week, we're having the event at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. Last week was our Men's Blast Off. And uh, it did rain for a while in the afternoon. Uh, uh, Can you imagine? But it was, everybody was able to finish the course. Uh, When the sun came back out, those that had gotten a little, little wet dried right out. And it was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. So a uh, little bit of rain uh, did not dampen people's spirits. Had a wonderful time. And this Friday and Thursday also is the ladies' blast off. Uh, call the chamber to register for two full fun days in the sun. Thursday, all ladies' blast off participants are able to have a practice round and then enjoy a steak dinner sponsored by Edward Jones at the club. Friday begins with registration and a complimentary breakfast provided by the Country Club from 8 to 9 with tea off at 9. Then it's an all-day event with 18 holes of golf, hole prizes, team prizes, lunch sponsored by Fessler Auto Mall, and beverages. There are raffles, silent auctions, and games. They really are fun, enjoyable days spent with friends and the making of new ones. So that's our Ladies Blast Off this week, and that's sponsored and presented by Jackson medical supply at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club. You're listening to Chamber Talk here on 1570 KMCD. That's a full week, but I know the weekend holds some things as well. Yep. Saturday is the Fairfield Farmer's Market from 8 to 1, again at Howard Park. Saturday, Cedar Valley Valley Winery's fourth annual anniversary celebration is from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and will feature fine wine, music, and barbecue in the vineyard. Musicians Tris Trish and Thad Gray will play at 3 p.m. and Jake McVeigh at 5 p.m. Iowa Pork Producers will be serving up barbecue alongside Cedar Valley's Winery's signature wines. There will be beer, pop, and water will be available. Bring your lawn chairs and blankets out 
uh, to the winery for an afternoon celebration. There is a small cost. They're located at 2035, 2034 Dewberry Avenue. If you have questions, call 641 662 2800. Zero. And if you ever are hearing anything on Chamber Talk and have any questions or miss the phone number, call us at 472-2111. We have the information at our fingertips. And if we don't have it for any reason whatsoever, because we are a wealth of information, we know where to direct you to find out that information. Back to Cedar Valley, if you haven't been there, shame on you, but it's just six miles West of town on Highway 34. Very, very nice. Drive to Cedar Creek and hang a right. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you're like me, go 2034 Dewberry. Where's that? <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just a hillbilly. No, nope. six miles, Cedar Creek, turn right. You'll find mm-hmm. it. It's right, right. there on the highway. So, all right, uh, save the date. A couple things to save the date for next week, if you can believe it. On June 26th, the Jefferson County Fair begins. It's going to be from June 26th through July 1st. Uh, Way Off Broadway begins its first production on June 28th with Miss Saigon, and it'll go more than just the, that day, of course, and we'll talk more about that in the next week, but it begins that weekend of June 28th. Uh, July 4th is a farm crawl and dinner at the Mazden Barns. July 4th, of course, is fireworks in Fairfield. July 5th is the Fairfield First Friday's Art Walk. Celebrate Iowa in the park. Uh, July 11th is Wind in the Willows. And July 26th, I think everybody has that date down, Ragbri comes to town. In fact, as I was coming over here, uh, I saw Oakwood Nursery uptown, and there are a couple trees that took a hit over the win- winter, and I, it looked like they were going to be replaced today. Um, we've talked about sprucing up your home, sprucing up your her business, putting our best foot for, forward for not just Rag rag bri, but for all the chamber events or all the Fairfield events that bring people to town and for ourselves. Yeah, We'd like love to live here. All things Italian. We have Fair Fest coming up this week. The uh, art walks on a monthly basis. And uh, uh, I, uh, being someone who's down on the square quite a bit at these events, it's always, uh, uh, I don't know why, gratifying when people come up and compliment the square, the town, the way the city looks. So. If you haven't ridden around the square lately and looked at the roses in Central Park, Please do. They uh, Roses all over town are breathtaking this year, but the whole row of roses that just goes through the very middle of the park are beautiful. Probably as full as I've ever remember seeing them. Yeah, they really are. And the yeah. other thing I noticed uh, starting, I guess it was last week, the Fairfield Art Association has started putting up their artwork in the nose. Oh, yes, 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 the wheels and gears. Wheels and gears. Yeah, fun. How appropriate with the rag coming Yes. In. Once again, don't forget to sign up for the week that will be the Fairfield Field Chamber Area Chamber of Commerce uh, Monday morning newsletter comes out. That's about the time we have Nancy. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Yes, Steve. All right, that's our friend Thanks. Nancy Morrissey from Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce.